Hi everyone, we're back with another InfoSec Hub video. Today we're going to talk about the message log that is um, inside of Barracuda, this email security gateway. And as you see, there's a log of all kinds of emails and I've filtered for blocked emails. So if an email passes through, maybe you saw that in my previous video when I explained the basics of this uh, great package, you see allowed. Uh, but now I search for blocked and why did I do that? I want to show you guys why it's being blocked. It always tells you a reason. So here we have a reputation block list that comes from uh, Barracuda. Barracuda uh, identifies these messages, these emails based on AI. And AI is basically nothing more than a bunch of data and some smart algorithms. So this... Uh, this um, Amarise, Amarmoose dot live domain. At, uh, this one is blocked based on reputation uh, damage. This domain has been involved in some shady stuff in the past. Um, probably been part of some uh, spamming campaigns, phishing campaigns. And then there's a worldwide block list that not only Barracuda uses, but also various other packages. Um, we talked about spam house before I can maybe show you real quick spam house is also an organization that um, just a second the spam house project uh, it's basically all about block lists and you can you can use them some of them are free some of them uh, somebody who cares dot org is also uh, open uh, so block lists are basically Based on IP, based on a URL, you can uh, have a certain reputation. And when that reputation is bad, then you want to make sure that no domain that has been affected by this bad reputation is even allowed to send you email. So this is either inbound email, so email flying in and email flying out. But um, email flying out holds the, our own domain name. Uh, so there's so far <laughs> no bad reputation. Uh, another reason zero intent per domain sender score what is score let me open the message here so you get a better understanding and here you see the spam score i'll later show you why it's being blocked so i think the spam score if it's below five then it will go through but everything above five will be automatically blocked so you have to set it up yourself inside of barracuda i didn't set up this package it's been set up before i administrated and i didn't um, adjust the settings because i'm not 100 percent sure what this means but the score of this message was 5.8 and everything above 5 is blocked uh, the message body is hidden so you can't see you can't actually go into the message to see what is the email about but this is basically the source uh, code of, or the header, if you will, uh, for this message. <clears throat> um, you can download this uh, as evidence, uh, put it in another system, whatever you want here. You can't you view the message itself, only the source that's connect, uh, connected to it. It received a certain server. Uh, signatures, DKIM is also active maybe worth for another video one another time but this score so you have various reasons why something can be blocked but you also will see score quite much and here it says it contains a virus so that's why it's being blocked inside of documents <clears throat> okay now spam checking see spam checking is enabled and here score at which message gets blocked so you see it's being blocked if the score is above five so if it was 4.8 it would be allowed uh, so that also means that not only this email security gateway is necessary you also need awareness for the people that are involved um, in your company another great thing virus checking currently it's not enabled Maybe it will be enabled by the time you watch this video, uh, but that's also possible. So uh, this email security gateway can also scan 
attachments that are attached to this email um, and check them for viruses. We go back to the message log. Now it will show you everything, uh, but I want to go back to the action again, and then we can type in here blocked or quarantined or stuff like that. We do have certain messages going to quarantine and there's a, a specific email box dedicated to these quarantine messages so that we can still have some checkups basically and decide based on human intelligence if uh, this is spam or not or if this is phishing or not. So these are all blocked. You see the reason here, score, zero hour, not sure what that means. Personal. Okay, just for the sake of this tutorial, I will look it up since we're talking about the, the message log. Just a second, what does this mean? Yes, so an email is being stopped with the reason zero hour intent. <clears throat> what does that mean? Ah, zero hour intent uh, means that a part of the URL or the domain, um, part of that domain, Barracuda sees malware come from there. So that's based in the header information of the email message that I earlier showed you. So part of a domain or part of a URL. So <clears throat> shady stuff, guys. Malware coming from this, and this is based on spam score. So it checks for malware, it checks for viruses, um, and it checks for this reputation of the domain. <clears throat> so this is basically the... the um, uh, let, let me see. I'm almost maybe... Quarantine, I hope I spell that right. Is it searching? No. Maybe I spell it wrong. Quarantine. Then. Quarantine, right? Yes, this is the English word. Just checking, see if I can also show you some messages that are placed in quarantine. Um, <clears throat> should be. Should be. It's searching, so let's give it some time. Hopefully I can show you that as well. Quarantine, basically, just like COVID here, you have quarantine. Uh, so it's been placed in a special kind of folder uh, where... Um, a help desk employee can still get to the message, but that message that was intended for a certain person wasn't delivered to that person. So the uh, help desk person can look at the message, can look at um, uh, the, the content of the message, basically the attachments in a sandboxed environment. So when a link is clicked or when a PDF is opened and it installs something on your machine, then only the sandbox is affected. We have another video about sandboxes also in this channel. So if you want to know more about sandboxes, check it out. Um, but with quarantine, the, the message is not delivered, but it's also not lost. When the message is blocked, then it's really, you know, it, it wasn't delivered. It's not being stored anywhere else. It's just the gateway, as it says, it's like a door. It's been stopped at the door and that's the end of the story. So I hope this makes sense and the message log is basically very important just to see what's going on on, on your network, uh, more specifically on your email server. Um, and um, yeah, you know, you can you can look it up here and you can see all these are blocked on the score. And the score, what I talked about before, Barracuda has this global block lists. It's lots of data about domains and IP addresses and subject headers and all that stuff. And that's what makes this um, uh, software so powerful, basically. So I hope I made that clear enough. It's it's always a kind of a freestyle the way I make my videos, but uh, I, I talk out of my head, uh, hopefully not out of my ass. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm discovering this great uh, tool and I'm going to document it uh, on this channel. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you guys in the next video.